Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPXS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways here just to establish some context, but a very nice move on the day. I mean, you stop and think about the fact that at one point the price was all the way down there, but the price ultimately was able to close all the way up there. Very nice bounce. I mean, any rational person would say, yeah, from where it was at its lows to where it closed, that was a very nice movement. Now, as far as areas of, and really, let me take a step back. So that all does bring about the question though of, all right, yeah, it bounced very nicely, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce site move? And I have no idea. But as far as levels that you want to keep an eye on and can help with this question, is that area right there at 740? Why is 70 or 740 so important? Well, and I'm not saying this will occur, but one potential scenario is that the price comes down here and then just continues on down. What would that be doing to the price at that point? Well, from that frame of reference, it would be putting the price right back inside of the, where that price had just broken out from. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power. Where on the flip side of things, we I mean, no price can go straight up. So maybe the price comes down here, behaves in that manner, then starts to work its way back upwards. Now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have that low right there if you envision each one of those as stair steps. Well, hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, again, quote unquote progress being defined as 740. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, main level to watch going into next week gonna be right up there at $7.60. And then if 760 can be broken, you wanna keep a close eye on that purple line up there, which on my charts and notes, the very well-known, the very famous 50 period moving average, which is currently valued at, we'll just call it $7.80. But all in all, nice bounce today. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon this bounce and momentum moving forward? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.